Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love romance relationship reading and it will be from now to the end of June 2021 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. And do check out not just your Sun but your Moon and Rising readings in particular because you might get more clarification or alternatively one might resonate more than the other. Okay, message for Aries, please. Angel spirits, guides in terms of love, romance, relationships. What do we have for Aries? Okay, the card has fallen. I've got healing. Message for Aries, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Aries, thank you. Love, romance, relationships. Now to the end of June 2021 for Aries. Thank you. Okay. Interesting because I've got Angel of Wealth. Financial flow comes easily to you. Now that can be an abundant energy as well. Um, knowing what's of value to you and what's not. But, you know, there may well be some financial element to this reading. You know, the reading is what it is. So let's see what else we get, Aries. I'm going to pull an overarching card and then we'll pull five cards. Then we'll clarify, go deep into the message as we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay, card is out. We have the lovers as your overarching energy card of Gemini. Okay, Aries, you is the first person. We have the six of swords. The other person, we have the eight of cups. Five of Swords, your challenge, Temperance, card of Sagittarius, and outcome we have the King of Cups. This is in the near future. Okay, message for Aries, please. It's interesting, as I cut the deck, I've got the Three of Swords with you, Aries, which is the Queen of Wands, male or female energy. What do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Aries, thank you. Now to the end of June 2021, please. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Okay, so we have the Page of Wands. Eight of Cups. We have the Moon. Fool clarifies the Five of Swords. The Eight of Coins clarifies Temperance. And the King of Cups is clarified by the card of Leo, Strength card. Bottom of the deck we have the Hermit, card of Virgo. I'm going to clarify this. Oh, thank you. Let's clarify this, lovers. Let's clarify this, lovers, please. Thank you. Oh, lovely. I love that. There's somebody new coming your way, Aries. Very nice energy. It feels you're ready. Clarify the King of Cups. King of Coin. <laughs> There's someone new. Because we've got the magician bottom of this deck. They want to manifest. Or you want to manifest with them. Okay. So, I mean, the lovely energy is, yeah. Reasons to celebrate, coming together. It feels like a new, this can be about collaboration, a new community, a new, you know, relationship. But the winter's over, the spring is here. It can be an energy of closing one door and opening another. And it's a joyous energy, the Three of Cups. It's a feel-good energy. Because the Ace of Wands with the lovers, 
this is a powerful new union and it's absolutely connected to your element you know the element of fire the spark with somebody new that promises real potential that holds real potential as well this is chemistry attraction magnetic energy just being pulled towards somebody because with that ace of wands you can't help but take action towards it you can't help but reach out and grab it there has to be some kind of action when the ace of wands appears because you know it feels like this it just feels like this magnetic energy yeah I feel this this wealth this value I mean maybe you're really realizing and with this temperance card it can be about the things that I held dear how I you know um you don't you you've had to recalibrate that and what your belief system now is has changed somewhat it's almost kind of like you had to go through this experience in order to see the value of this and that's what this experience has taught you, even though it wasn't particularly easy, certainly with that three of three of swords energy that we saw when I cut the cards, um, which can be about heartbreak, third party, emotional pain. Um, but it, it feels it's taught you something here. It's Saturnian energy, that three of swords, and it's taught you some valuable lesson in terms of love. And I definitely think that you've learnt as a result of it, um, because, you know, the six of swords is about heading in the right direction and you're heading towards something better with the six of swords it's healing as well healing but detaching the worst is behind you and you are just you know detaching from the troubles detaching from the pain detaching from the stress of it all this free spirit energy of the page of wands is really nice because it's that kind of innocent energy of being curious about the possibility of what's coming your way you know Page of Wands is open to learn all things. And it definitely feels because you've learnt some valuable lessons here. But there's a new clarity that's coming your way. I just see, I mean, you can see both of these cards. It's like one person's going in that direction, the other person's going in this direction. Um, the Eight of Cups can be about someone walking away, uh, abandonment withdrawal i mean call it what you will it, it's because they don't see the future you know and they want to move on to something that is more fulfilling you know more centered around what that what their heart requires so it, it feels that like you're freeing yourself from this hit aries um now I just, uh, I just don't think they saw a future here and that's what I'm feeling the strongest. But, I mean, this could have been months ago, years ago. Someone walked away and caused you upset and it's taken time to heal, really heal. But I definitely feel for now you're ready to, you know, the page is just that awe of the world. I'm ready to take action towards a new path. Um, can be a message as well to do with an opportunity, possibly this Ace of Wands. Something is sparking your interest, maybe, because you're certainly not focusing on this person anymore. And that was your challenge, where your mind was focused. It was on the negative thinking. It was on looking back. It was on the thing that caused negative disruption in your life and preyed on your mind, you know, to the point where you couldn't really see past it. But with that fool energy, you're liberating from that now. This is about getting a higher enlightenment as well. A higher understanding of your situation is allowing you to see past whatever this was all about and open a new door. Fool is a powerful, big, new, shiny door. Um, a new chapter, new phase of your life, ready to take the, take the leap of faith with something new, in a new direction, to a new beginning. But that was your challenge. That was your challenge. And temperance, interestingly enough, in the Major Arcana comes after the Death card, which can represent endings. 
and it's how you alter that belief system you know your belief where your beliefs your where you focus where you place your um, attention what you hold dear truly dear and your core values your core principles um Again, this is about learning from life's rich experiences, both good and bad, and understanding how to find the way through those experiences. And I feel you are finding the way through now with that Six of Swords. Temperance is about steering that boat through, straight through the middle of a situation that can be opposing extremes. It's just finding that happy way through. Um... You know, and, and just steering your ship in the right direction to find your flow. Again, Sagittarius opening up to new hopes, new dreams, um, new horizons, new adventures now. It's been hard work, Aries. There's also material gain associated with the Eight of, Eight of Pentacles, which might resonate for some of you. Um, yeah, but I feel what's of value to you now, what you put your time and energy into has changed somewhat but you're getting clarity in terms of what you want in your life and what you don't now because you've learnt from challenging experience you might be dealing with a leo or a virgo uh, king of cups is scorpio king of coins is taurus so you know Sagittarius here so sometimes these cards can be a person in your life can be part of your sign as well but there is somebody coming your way who offers stability who who means what they say they might have hidden feelings for you they might not be particularly easy to read here Aries but what they say you can trust male or female energy though two kings can generally represent more of a male energy I have to say, it's not limited to that, it's a general reading. And they're offering you new love. Um, yeah, somebody who is very balanced in the heart, somebody who is very steady, trustworthy. Connects to you on a deep level, Aries. Yeah. You might just be able to, you know, assume when you meet this person, you, the conversation flows very easily. You'll feel like you know them. Yeah. Lovely energy. Now, there's healing here, but this is about finding answers from within on how you need to take action. A card of introspection. Maybe it's an energy of, am I ready? Is this right for me? Do I go for this? And this is, you know, the fool. Do I take the leap of faith? Is my negative thinking, what's happened in the past, me looking back, you know, uh, you know, you sometimes see this person, it, it can be about winners and losers energy. You sometimes see this person looking back rather than forward in readings. And it's, it's because Whatever's happened here, whatever the conflicting energy is here, no one's really won in this situation. And there's a need to see past that now. You know, it is what it is. It asks for acceptance. It asks for you to see the bigger picture, which is what the fool is doing. You can see the fool is high, is high above the world. He has a high perspective. And it definitely feels in this energy, there is a need for a higher perspective in a situation now. Because this is about having the strength, the courage to take the leap of, leap of faith, even though there may be fear or uncertainty, to go for it and overcome that. But like I said, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo as well. But it just feels for some of you, there's somebody new coming in. There's somebody new. And you're ready. You're ready. It's all, they're all part of your journey. So lovely, and there's a very magnetic pull. I have to say there is, I was definitely feeling the magnetic pull. <laughs> and that was definitely an energy I was getting as a message um, when I started this reading. There's just some magnetic pull that is really sparking your curiosity here, that is wanting to just tell you to give it a go and see where it leads in that light-hearted way. Okay, so I'm gonna pull a final card.
final card for Aries, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Final card for Aries, thank you. We have cat, speak your truth. Have strength, yes, strength is here. Faith and conviction in your voice, it has never been more needed. Yeah, you know, wow, that is uh, quite ominous. We have raven, wise woman, a change is coming. Wise woman, a change is coming. And it is coming, it's coming. But it feels something or someone that is more connected to your element that is sparking your interest that you can't help really but take action towards Re despite these reservations uh, there's definitely an energy of just it feels that magnetic pull lovely energy aries so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like shell shell <laughs> share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful uh, month or two for you all and i will see you next time thank you